setups. Usually on the same machine or production line, you produce more than one goods. Therefore, you have to change the tools and the materials you're using for a specific machine. And this sort of changes we call setup. So the purest definition, the easiest one, is that all the activities required to switch from production of one good to another one are called setup. Obviously, we have a setup time. So this is the time between finishing one good and starting high quality production of the second good. You sometimes are very fast in switching from A to B, but getting B into high quality takes a lot of time because you have to calibrate on the machine as well. Now, when we look at the operational time of any machine or production line, you will notice that uh, a lot are taken by preventive maintenance, breakdowns, other downtimes, but actually the biggest one are setup times because they happen often and they are quite long in many cases. Therefore, it makes a lot of sense to basically reduce the setup. So number of setups and the time of the setups. Now there are two types of benefits you have from reducing setups. So the first one has to do with the fact that once you reduce the setups, you have a higher flexibility. So here I produced one patch of a one good and then I had a long setup and then second patch of the second good. This obviously means that I have a lot of inventory. If I reduce the, the setup, then I can do more setups and obviously have a lower inventory and bigger viability of the products. The other thing which you can do is basically not do more setups because they are shorter, but actually use this time to produce new goods. So in this case, I would earn half an hour of production time because of the fact that I reduced uh, the setup of the machine. And this obviously means some margin being generated thanks to the having this half an hour. So there are two things, lower inventory and then higher profits also due to the fact that you can use the setup time to produce new goods that you need. When we are talking about setups, you will be talking about two types of operations. So external ones and internal ones. So in external ones are the one that can be done outside the machine and the machine can be still working. I don't have to stop it in order to do something. With internal operations, it's the other way around. So basically you have to stop the machine in order to perform this operation. And now some examples of this. So basically when we are talking about external, it's everything connected with transportation of uh, necessary goods and materials. Also preheating some of the things and securing the materials you need. Um, so this would be external. Internal is everything that has to do with the machine. So exchanging the, the cutting parts or the dice, centering, calibrating the machine. This unfortunately requires the machine to be stopped also the try processing attachment so where you have faulty products also is in this internal operation now let's go to the so-called uh, smet methodology that is all about cutting down the time needed for setups 